Hey, what's up, bro? You ready? Yeah, let's get it. So What is up, Cam fam? Happy New Year. I know it's not New Year's anymore, but this is my first time seeing you guys since the New Year. So I hope you guys had a great holiday season and everything went well. So for this week, we are doing Confession Week. And for my confession, I wanted to do something a little bit like deeper um, and kind of just inform you guys and maybe help a few of you too. So my confession is, is that I have depression and anxiety. Um, now, I think when people say that, automatically everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're like on the verge of like, you know, freaking out or something. And that is not the case. <laughs> um, I'm actually very stable right now. Um, I haven't had any huge episodes for about like a month or two now. So we're doing good. Um, firstly, just talking about depression, um, little backs background kind of on it. I've had depression since about fourth grade, I think, and I am a junior now. So it's been a lot of years. Um, I've been medicated for depression. I've gone through ups and downs on depression, cutting, suicide attempts, suicidal thoughts, all of that. Um, and so I've kind of, yeah, I've kind of made my way to somewhere where I'm very happy now. I know that there are a lot of you out there right now who are struggling and maybe haven't made it to a point that I'm at. Um, so I wanted to help you guys a little bit. My number one advice tip would be to go and talk to somebody. And that doesn't have to be a professional or a doctor or any of that. That could just be a friend or a family member. Um, Honestly, getting out how you're feeling to somebody is a major part um, because with depression, you don't you don't want to talk to anybody. You don't want to do anything, but you really have to push yourself outside of that little like dark box that you're in and go and talk to somebody and, and try to get help. Um, even if the person has no um, knowledge or anything about depression, they can just be there to listen to you and that can be a huge help for you. The second thing that I struggle with is anxiety and um, I have something called panic disorder. Um, and so that basically just means that I will see something or hear something or be in a situation or anything like that and I might start getting a little bit anxious and then it could go into a full blown panic attack. So my number one tip for anxiety is learning your triggers um, and a trigger is basically whatever maybe makes you start feeling anxious. Um, so yeah, figure out what your triggers are and figure out what can help you come down from being anxious. So if you're starting to get that like that anxious feeling in you or you're starting to feel a panic attack or anxiety attack coming on, figure out what can help you come down. If that's calling somebody on your phone, if that's um, just taking a few deep breaths, if that's listening to music, um, finding something that can help you is a main a main thing in kind of controlling your anxiety. So that's all I wanted to talk about with you guys today. If you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to that you can trust, um, I would love to talk to you. Um, I link all of my social media down below. You can contact me there. And um, yeah, I would love to talk to you guys. So I love you guys. Um, I will see you not next week, but the week after that. And yeah, I hope you have a good day. If the party going, nothing in it coming down. Camp fam vlogs. Here, baby. You already know what's up. Stomp your feet on the ground if you really with it.